Hey guys, we're going to talk about the top three immigration news from this week. Today is December 15th, and I have the top three, my top three, with some commentary. We're going to talk about what happened at in Washington with the Senate immigration deal that's connected to dollars for Ukraine and Israel for their wars. We're also going to talk about what is going on. Something really interesting is going on in Philadelphia around immigration. So let's get going. I'm Latoya McBean Pompey, an immigration lawyer in New York, working with clients nationwide and across the globe at McBean Law. Reach out to us, friends, if you need immigration help, if you have a problem or know someone who has a problem, give them our information. We can be reached at 888-462-4006 or at mcbeanlaw.com where you can request to book an appointment with us. Also, guys, one of the things that you'll find on our website is uh, terrific success stories. Go to mcbeanlaw.com forward slash success to read these stories and inspire, get, get inspired, guys, about what can be possible even for you. Now, let's talk about the first thing that happened this week that's really interesting. It's, guys... The, you may have been seeing videos on TikTok talking about, oh, big changes ahead for immigration in 2024, big changes, big changes by Biden. And you're thinking, okay, well, what are those changes? They haven't even told us what those changes are yet. There's just speculation, okay? AP uh, um, articles and other articles are out there about these big changes that are ahead, but no one really knows what's ahead. They are speculating that President Biden is planning to get tougher at the border, to restrict asylum seekers or those who are coming in at the border at, you know, guys, 5.8 million under the Biden administration, 5.8 million people have been caught at the border during his administration, 5.8 million. And he has, they have released, I said, he, right. President Biden is at the border releasing people into America. But the administration has released over 2 million into the United States. And, it, you know, as far as what's going on from my standpoint, this is all commentary as well, too. From my standpoint, they haven't really, really been interviewing people at the border they haven't been, they, for the most part, the, they're supposed to have what they, what is known as a credible fear interview with each person who they catch, who say, okay, I, I'm trying to claim asylum in America. They're supposed to sit down with them and go through a bunch of questions to kind of sift them, th sift, do some sifting to see whether these people are actually serious about an asylum case. And what I think is also going on is that people are, want to be part of the asylum process. They may not fully understand the process, they, they, but they want to be part of it because it comes with a work permit and a social security card and the ability to stay here for a long period of time and go through the asylum process. So that's a very attractive thing, the process itself. And so at the border, they had not been interviewing every single person that shows up. They've just been allowing them in. And so now one of the big changes that's being speculated is that the Biden administration will be having more, you know, they will do more interviews and, and maybe, maybe we don't know yet. We'll know in a few days, maybe go back into that COVID 19 error or policy that that was expelling people, you know, under the Trump administration, and even during the Biden administration, they were expelling folks at the border under the Title 42 COVID-19 policy that was in place. So that's their speculation about that one. There's also speculation that the administration will also be tackling humanitarian parole, cutting down on human the number of individuals who are released into the United States under the humanitarian parole process, and then also changes with expedited removal. Expedited removal has been around for a long time, and basically it would it allows the government, it allows ICE to 
detain, go after people who are within 100 miles of the Mexico or Canadian border within two weeks of their arrival in the United States. It allows the government to go after these individuals. So there's talks about beefing that up. Uh, We don't know yet because a lot of this is speculation. The White House is really keeping the details on the hush hush because there is And this is the second news. There is tense negotiations still underway on Capitol Hill about immigration and these changes that are now tie barred or connected to dollars that Joe Biden, the White House is seeking for Ukraine and Israel. And so that the what's happening now with those negotiations is, well, first of all, the House went home. The house went home. (laughs) The house went home. The house is in recess. Okay. House went on recess for the holiday, but the Senate, Senator Schumer, my Senator of state of New York, Senator Schumer has said, you know what? The Senate will remain in session. We're going to there. This is urgent. We've got to work out this immigration deal and we're going to be working through the weekend and we're going to vote on something next week. And if this is so urgent, you guys need to stick around and urgently work on this with us. So Schumer, Senator Schumer, who also, by the way, I read that he is behind the scenes trying to really push through an expedited work permit process for migrants in New York. But that's another story uh, that he's worked uh, that another news that he's uh, that we should talk about one day. Uh, We'll see whether that's going to be put into this immigration carve out that they're doing. But uh, Senate. So look this weekend and next week to see what comes out of the Senate work that they're doing this spring weekend. That's where we're going. That's when we're going to get all of the details about how, what's going to happen, what they're working on, I should say. Now let's go back. Let's go into the third, in the, the third top news, I think is really about what's happening in Philadelphia. Philadelphia becomes the first city to deem medical deportation unlawful. Uh, NPR reported that after a three-year campaign, immigrant advocates are one step closer to banning the practice of medical deportation. And so this new bill amends the city code to make it illegal to deport immigrants while in healthcare settings without their consent. So I think what's going to be really interesting to look at as they try to enforce this new policy is how this local law intersects with federal immigration law. Um, It's going to be interesting to see how that happens. But Philadelphia has uh, passed has passed this bill. And so uh, we'll see how it works out for the city. Guys, again, get our top seven by subscribing to our newsletter at mcbeanlaw.com forward slash subscribe. We talked about some USCIS news in that one, in addition to some news around the visa bulletin for January, 2024. Get on our newsletter list so that you will not miss all of our immigration news that we share each week. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.